Dog Works Radio is sponsored by Alaska Dog Works. Check out their website at alaskadogworks.com. You can support this podcast on patreon.com forward slash first paw media. If you're like me, you probably are fascinated by all the dog breeds when dog shows come on television. I especially like the Westminster and National Dog Shows and try to watch every year. Did you ever wonder why you don't see a Labradoodle or an Alaskan Husky in the show ring? Today, we are going to discuss why mixed breeds cannot compete in confirmation shows. Just this week, one of our clients asked about how her dog can compete in dog sports. Stay tuned until the end and I will let you know how mixed breed dogs can compete in dog sports too. From First Paw Media, sponsored by Alaska Dog Works Professional Canine Training Center in Anchorage, Alaska. This is Dog Works Radio, committed to families and their dogs to build lifelong and fulfilling relationships. Visit our website at dogworksradio.com. Now here are your hosts, Robert and Michelle Forto. Hello and welcome to Dogworks Radio. I'm your host, Michelle Forto. I'm also the lead trainer for Alaska Dogworks, where we help you have a better relationship with your canine buddy. Did you know years ago, before I met my husband and business partner, Robert, he competed in dog shows or confirmation shows as they are known as in the dog world with his Siberian Husky sled dogs. He was literally chased out of the ring by little old ladies who thought his gruffy Siberians weren't up to the breed standard. Little did they know that his dogs conformed to more of the original standard than their poofy little dogs. Nevertheless, he won a title or two and got out quick and ended up working in competition obedience, which is a whole other story for another time. But today, we are talking about why mixed breeds can't compete in dog shows today. While watching a dog show on television or in person, many casual viewers find themselves completely mystified about aspects of the sport. But here are answers to four basic questions to give you a better understanding of dog shows. Here we go. So, who attends dog shows? Most dog handlers you'll see in the TV portion of the show are paid professionals. They've spent the year showing a string of dogs on behalf of the dog's owners. Among a pro handler's responsibilities are the grooming, conditioning, transportation, and diet of their charges, often with the help of assistants. But some handlers you'll see on TV are the dog's owner and breeder. They're technically amateurs, but there's nothing amateurish about their expertise. The dog show judges come from the ranks of breeders, amateur breeder handlers, pro handlers, and dog club members. Many have played all these roles. Judges are AKC approved and licensed, and the club that is sponsoring the dog show selects the judges. How do you get into the dog show? Much has already been decided by the time you settle in with your popcorn and beverage of choice. During the day at the show, dogs compete for awards within their respective breeds. The coveted best of breed award entitles a dog to move on to the group showing that you see on TV. Here, an overall winner in each of the AKC's seven breed groups is determined. By the time your feet hit the ottoman, a vast entry has been winnowed down to just one dog of each breed. How are different breeds judged? Well, the judge doesn't compare dogs of different breeds to each other. The judge compares each dog to the breed standard of its particular breed. 
the breed standard is a written guide that emphasizes what features make the breed unique and what qualities it must possess to do the job it was created for, including physical characteristics and temperament. The AKC Parent Club, the national organization devoted to the breed, writes the standard and the AKC approves it. The standard is both the breeder's blueprint and the instrument by which a judge uses to evaluate a breeder's work. Each dog is judged by how well it conforms to its breed standard. Biggie the Pug won the toy group at the AKC National Championship in 2018. Why can't mixed breeds compete in dog shows? Showing dogs serves a purpose, the maintenance and improvement of the breeds. Beneath the glamour, competition, and showmanship, a dog show is essentially an exhibition of breeding stock. It's a place where breeders gather to exhibit their stock and have it judged by an expert. As such, it would be pointless to hold confirmation dog shows featuring mixed breeds purebreds without pedigrees, and purebreds incapable of reproducing. However, mixed breed dogs are welcome to enroll as canine partners and compete in sports other than confirmation, including agility, fast cat, and more. So what do you guys think? Is it fair that your golden doodle can't compete against his peers in a dog show? Or do you have an experience like Robert did in the show ring? Let us know in the comments or on our social channels. Just search DogWorks Radio. And one last thing. Did you know the single best thing you can do is tell your family and friends how to listen? Who knows? They just might become a rabid listener just like you. I'm Michelle Forto for DogWorks Radio and First Paw Media. See you next time. From First Paw Media, this is Dog Works Radio. We hope you enjoyed this podcast, and we invite you to subscribe in Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, or wherever you get your podcasts. You'll find a link on the episode notes. You can tap or swipe on the episode cover art, and you'll see some offers from our sponsors. You can support our show by supporting them. If you like what you have heard, we would love it if you could give us a five-star rating and tell your friends how to subscribe too. Your hosts are Robert and Michelle Forto. Our producer is Robert Forto and created for First Paw Media. Here's to the great American dog trainers out there. The hundreds of you who settled for the sometimes thankless job of working with four-legged companions because they pay the bills. Of course, there's something else you can do if you've got something to say. Start a podcast with First Paw Media and unleash your creative freedom. Maybe even earn enough money to tell yourself, hey, I'm no puppy wrangler. I'm a rover. I'm a trail breaker. I'm an adventurer. Visit firstpaw.media. Wag on over today.